Paddy, and today is washing day. All of these clothes have been worn and they're a little bit dirty, but what can I use to get them clean? That's right, a washing machine. But do you know how a washing machine gets our dirty clothes clean again? How does a washing machine work? Let's find out. How does it work? Washing machine. Washing our clothes is a bit like washing our hands. First, we need to wet them with warm water, add soap, and make it all bubbly, giving them a good scrub. Then all we have to do is rinse away the dirty soapy water with clean water from the tap. So that's how we clean our hands. Now let's find out how a washing machine cleans our clothes. Okay, it's time for the next load of clothes. But you must never put anything inside a washing machine without a grown-up. The part that we put our dirty washing into is called the drum. And can you see all of these little holes? And that's where the water comes in. Detergent is put in the drawer. Listen, can you hear the whirring and those splashing sounds? That's the water inside the drum. But how does the machine get the water into the drum? And how do our dirty clothes come out clean? To find out, I think we need to take a closer look. When the washing machine is full of clothes and a grown-up has put detergent in the drawer, we press the start button on the control panel. It sends a signal to a valve at the back of the machine, which opens to let water in. Water flows through the tubes and into the detergent drawer, picking up the detergent on the way. Then the water flows through all the tiny holes into the drum. Next, a heating element underneath the drum gets very hot. This warms up the soapy water. At the same time, a motor at the back of the machine starts turning the drum. The drum has paddles inside which toss the clothes around. The turning and tossing of the clothes and soapy water loosens the dirt. When the wash cycle is finished, the dirty water goes out. More clean water comes in to rinse the clothes. Then the drum spins around really, really fast, squeezing most of the water out. And now, the clothes are clean and ready to be dried. That was so interesting, wasn't it? So we can see all of the parts of a washing machine for ourselves. I've come to a washing machine repair centre. And I've been given special permission to look inside the washing machine. This washing machine has had the back and top panels taken off so that we can see the parts inside. At home, water comes from a pipe and will travel through a tube to get into the washing machine. Once inside, the water mixes with the detergent and gets heated up inside the drum. And underneath, the heating element is fixed in place. It's a long, twisty piece of metal that gets really hot. And when the water is hot enough, this motor will spin the metal drum inside using this rubber belt. Can you see the metal drum spinning when I turn the belt? And finally, after the machine has washed the clothes, the dirty water goes out through this hose. Now we know what all of the parts are, shall we see a wash cycle with one of my special cameras? This is my special waterproof camera. You should never put cameras or things inside a washing machine. But I've got special permission to put this camera inside that washing machine so we can see a wash cycle while it's happening. And here, I've got a t-shirt that is smothered with jam. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it clean. You ready? Look, can you see the hot water coming through the holes, filling up the drum? It was heated by the heating element. <laughs> oh no! The t-shirt landed on the special camera. We just need one of the paddles to knock it off. Can you see the t-shirt being tossed around inside with all of that bubbly water? It's going round and round and round. 
after a quick rinse with some fresh water, it's time for the best bit. Whoa! The motor is moving the rubber belt, which is spinning the drum. This helps to remove water from the clothes, but it's spinning so fast, you can hardly see my T-shirt. Look, can you see it wobbling? Can you wobble like a washing machine? <laughs> I think that means it's finished. Shall we see if the t-shirt's clean? <laughs> and... Yes, the t-shirt is clean. Look at that, all of the stains have gone. And it smells lovely too. That is brilliant. I loved finding out how washing machines work. What was your favorite bit? Can you remember the name of the part our clothes in. That's right, it's called the drum. Did you hear the splashing sound the washing machine made as the drum filled with water? And did you see the yellow t-shirt spinning around on my special waterproof camera? Now all my clothes are clean and dry, it's time to put them away. I put my matching socks together in pairs and I fold my t-shirts like this. I like to fold my trousers over hangers like this. Do you know what these type of trousers are called? Yeah, that's right, jeans. But where do jeans come from? Do you know how they're made? Let's find out. How is it made? Jeans. To find out how jeans are made, I've come to a jeans workshop. Jeans are made from a material called denim, and denim is made from cotton. And cotton comes from a cotton plant that looks like this. But cotton is used to make all sorts of things, like cotton wool balls or T-shirts. Denim is a really strong type of cotton material. It's great for playing and doing activities in because it doesn't tear or rip easily. To find out why denim is so strong, I've got my special microscope camera that will let us take a close look at the material. Look, my special camera helps us see the cotton threads in this T-shirt. And those threads are woven with the threads across going over one thread and under another. Over one thread and under another. This type of pattern is called a plain weave. Now let's look at the denim. Can you see? The denim has two different colours of thread. Blue and white. The white threads going across go over one and then under three. Over one and under three. This type of pattern is called twill weaving and it's what makes the denim so strong and difficult to rip. To make a pair of jeans, we need lots of different shapes and these cardboard shapes are called templates. It's Ebo's job to cut out the shapes that we need and he starts by drawing around the templates onto a thin sheet of paper. lays the paper on top of a big piece of denim fabric and cuts out pieces to match the paper templates. Listen to the sound of the scissors as they cut through the denim. Now we've got all the pieces we need to make one pair of jeans. What do you think this is? That's right, this is going to be one of the back pockets. The sides of the pockets are folded over and pressed with an iron, making the edges neat. But there's nothing to sew them onto yet. We need some legs. The back of the jeans are made from two long pieces, these are the legs, and two shorter pieces called yokes, and these go just above. This is a special type of sewing machine called a felling machine and it's used to make parts of the jeans that get a lot of wear and tear, like the bottom. Now 
the legs are taking shape, Ken draws the pocket on the jeans with chalk. Thank you. So Nico knows where to stitch them on. The next part of the jeans to be made is called the fly. And the fly is the part of the jeans that makes them easier to pull on and off. The fly is made from a zip, like this one. The zip is sewn into a part called the fly panel. And the fly panel is sewn on the jeans in a J line. It's called the J line because it looks just like the letter J, with a straight line and a curvy flick at the bottom. <laughs> so, we've got the front parts of our jeans and the back parts. But they're a little bit flappy, aren't they? What do you think happens next? That's right, they need to get sewn together. First, the jeans are stitched down the sides. This is called the seam, before a piece called the waistband is attached at the top of the jeans. The jeans are looking fantastic. We just need a few finishing touches. Evo's making a buttonhole so we can do the jeans up at the top. Like this. Little bits of material like this are sewn onto the waistband and they're called belt loops because they're the loops the belt goes through. To make our jeans even stronger, thick metal pins like these are stamped into some parts of the jeans, like the corners of the pockets. They're called rivets. This pair of jeans has six rivets, which are put in using a stamping machine. Thank you. Here we are, a finished pair of jeans. All that's left to do is try them on. I think these look fantastic and they'll last a really long time too. What was your favourite part about finding out how jeans are made? Do you remember what the cardboard shapes are called that are used to cut out the different parts of the jeans? That's right, templates. And did you hear the sound the scissors made as they cut through the denim? see the clever way the denim is weaved using my special microscope camera. So the next time you wear some jeans or see somebody else wearing a pair, you'll know how they were made. And if you watch a washing machine spinning round and round, you'll know how it works to get our clothes clean. Right, it's time to go and play in my new jeans. I'll see you next time.